Hi guys, and welcome back to Jojo's Corners, La Esquina de Jojo. If you're new to my channel, hello, how are you? If you're not new to my channel, welcome back. Today, I'm coming back with an updated curly hair routine. And I want to share that with you guys. I'm, I'm sure there's probably nothing new in the curly hair community, but it is new for me and for you guys, my subscribers. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys what I've been doing to keep these girls popping between eight to 10 days. So if you wanna know what do I do to take my routine to the next level, keep on watching. <laughs> Okay guys, so I just rinsed out all my deep conditioner. For deep conditioner, I went with the Blue Sea Kale Pure Coconut Water from Not Your Mother's. It's a butter mask that it came in this little package that they actually sent to me a couple of um, their masks for me to try. And this is my first time trying this. Oh, it kind of matches me. And my hair, absolutely love it. My hair feels so soft. It feels amazing. Um, so the products that we're going to use for this updated wash and go are the products from Botanica. I really love these products because they leave my hair soft, defined, and super balanced and my curls shrink a lot. And I don't know, when, every time I use it, I get a bomb wash and go. So for this, I have the mousse. I have the curl cream and I have the styling gel. One of the reasons why I wanted to update this is because, I don't know, because maybe the weather that we that I live over in Florida is, is change, changes a lot. But I liked, I, I, I very much enjoy using the curl cream with a gel and a little bit of mousse. I feel like I get the best result. It doesn't matter how muggy it's outside, my curls stay intact. I feel like the recombo lately or for the past two months or so not only leave leave uh, my wash and go last for a long time it lasts like a week sometimes a little over a week sometimes i even go 10 days without washing my hair and it lasts me my curls last all the way and you know that i don't like refreshing my hair i don't if i'm gonna spend my time refreshing my hair i might as well wash it um it has been a couple of in a couple of occasions that I have done it. That is either because I'm going sober and I don't have time to um, do my hair right then, like in the condition, do what I do every weekend, or I'm coloring my hair and my hair is gonna be washed within two three days. Um, and normally when I color my hair with the hair paint wax, I don't refresh. I did it last time, which I didn't do a video now. Anyways, let me put this around me. Unfortunately, I have lost my microfiber towel. I had a big towel and somewhere in the house got lost. So I ended up ordering me some from Amazon today. So I'm gonna have to use my scar. And now let me show you how my hair. And it smells delicious, super soft. Okay, so I got my water and I have my demon brush. If you don't know, um, this has become my new obsession. I just ordered them into a tangled tweezer because I wanna see how those work. But my demon brush, I feel like I get some amazing results and it just make the, helps the product to spread evenly. And I don't know, I, I like, I love the results that I get when I use the demon brush. So first I'm going to take the curl, curl cream. This is how it looks. It's thick and it smells herbal, which I love. So I take about this much and I'm just gonna apply that all over my hair. And then I'm gonna go back with the demon brush and just make sure I brush that. The demon brush helps to separate the curls and for the product to even out. I like to apply one product at a time. I don't know, it's just my preference. I know a lot of people like to grab a chunk of hair and apply all the product to only parting their hair in two pieces. I don't like it. I feel like I get 
I get good results, but not as good as when I just take my time. I mean, I guess it all depends how much time you, you have to get your hair done. I personally like to take my time because if I'm rushing, my curls are not going to look the same. Definitely. My wash and go, it will not last as long as it does when I take my time. I know you're probably thinking, wait a minute, that does not look like curls. Oh, believe me, it's gonna be curls in a minute. I like to take the demo brush and just kind of like play with it. Not only the tangle the hair, but also like give it a little twist for the curls to start forming somehow. And then I go ahead and scrunch a little bit. The cream, I normally don't mix it all the way to the roots. What I like to mix all the way to the roots is my gel. So my roots don't get frizzy super fast. Because that is one of the first parts that I start getting frizz on. And as you can see, I'm taking the hair and I'm pulling it away from my head. I feel like I get better results when I do that. Very results and definitely more volume. As you can see, my hair is not soaking wet, but it's pretty wet. As I have learned more about my hair, I feel like the product applies way better when your hair is wet versus when it's damp. I feel like once my hair is damp, like I don't get the same results. So I try to leave it not soaking wet where I'm just dripping water all over the place, but with enough water where I can still Feel it and feel the moisture getting into my hair. You hear that? See how the curls are starting to form? Now I'm going to do the front. And the front intent to do it towards the front, all of this area. All the hair I tilt it towards the front. Till those curls start to form. And this is the product all applied, the first product applied through my hair. My hair is still pretty wet. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna go wash my hands and then we'll be back to apply the gel. To apply the gel, I'm gonna stand up because I got it. <laughs> so this is how the gel looks, it's clear. It has light scent to it, like herbal. So the gel looks. And I just take enough, rub it in against and just Smooth it in my hair. Smooth it up. And I'll go ahead and tilt my head to the other side. And if I feel like it needs more, I just go ahead and keep adding. You hear that? Look at that. And I go with my fingers and then just crunch. Now, one thing that I like to do, especially with the front, I'm going to add a little bit more to the front. I'm gonna smooth it out in the top. And then I take again small sections and go back with the demon brush. And I go ahead and just crunch. Help those girls to form. 
And I do like to take a little bit, just rub it on and add it to my ends. And this is how my curls are looking so far. Now let me clean my hands once again. For the final step, which is the mousse, I'm only gonna take a little tiny bit and I'm gonna add it to a little tiny bit. This is runny and it smells again, once again, like curves. And I'm just gonna scrunch that in my hair. the other side and do the same once I make sure everything is in there then I'm going to go ahead I'm going to take my microfiber towel and I'm going to take a little bit of the water and I'm just going to scrunch my hair and this is how my hair, my curls are looking nice and juicy. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to diffuse my hair and then when it's almost completely dry, then I'll be back to show you what I've been doing to my hair to make sure the wash and go lasts me at least eight days. Okay, so this is how my hair, my curls are looking. As you can see, they do look amazing, but when I scrunch, using the towel leave my hair looking a little grizzle towards the end which is not a problem a lot of people like their hair like this look at this so bouncy i personally don't like if i leave my hair like this right now it will last me nothing but a couple of days so what i like to do is i'm going to take a little bit of the mousse very little very very little and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to scrunch that on those ends that way it holds them back but it doesn't give it like that super crunchiness and they're not soaked I do this uh, with the gels I Normally I like to do it with mousse, but if the products that I'm going to use does not have mousse, then I go ahead and just do it with the gel. Helps to define those ends and for them to be looking a little better than how they look right now. Some of them are a little stubborn. So what I do is I just take my hand and kind of add a little bit more product to it. What I like about this mousse and the gel some gels they leave your hands sticky so you know when you apply and you pull you tend to pull the curl like this right here i just go like that and I smooth it out with a little bit of product that way i know those curls are gonna last me until next week There is some stubborns like this one right here and I just go ahead and add a little bit of products to my hand and just smooth, smooth the curl. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and finish diffusing and I'll be back to show you how the hair looks when it's all diffused and ready to scrunch out the curl. Okay, so this is how we're looking. As you can see, the difference before and after, I added a little bit more of the mousse I'm just gonna go ahead and try to separate some of the curls. Definition at it is best. And I always get the same results when I use Botanica. Now I'm going to scrunch out the crunch using my Racer Truths. If you guys know, this is the only thing that I use every single day. And um, not only is good to scrunch out the crunch, it's good to give yourself a, a scalp massage and promote hair grow. Um, so I'm just gonna add a little bit to, forgot to open it. I'm going to add a little bit to my hands, a couple of drops. And then I'm just going to scrunch that in and even though I put more mousse the hair doesn't feel crunchy then I'm going to add a little bit on my fingers 
and I'm just gonna give myself a quick scalp massage. Now I'm going to take my pick and I'm just gonna elevate some of the hair. I don't like parting my hair to one side, but sometimes, depending on how the curls look, I either can push them to one or another. But this is the final result. As you can see, my curls are very defined and bouncy. I always get the exactly same results when it comes to Botanica. Never had any issues since day one. Of course, pretty much don't have no issues with her products. It's just that it takes for you to learn how they work for your hair. But so far, I love how Botanica leaves my hair. I love how my hair feels. My Obviously, my hair loves it. There's some other curls that I have to separate, of course. I try not to be so too harsh with them. And I have this thing, as you can see in the back of my hair, where they're not really curl curls. They're more like waves. That's why it's always more stretch out, but let me show you the back. If you are afraid of adding more gel to your hair, what I like to do is take, um, if I don't have a mousse and I only have gel, I like to take the gel. It don't matter how thick it is. I normally put a little bit of water that way I can dilute it and just Make sure you rub your hands really, really good and just scrunch that in. Of course, some gels are way too sticky, so you gotta be careful with that. If my gel is too sticky, then I add a little bit of my Rachel's Roots. If this is my updated wash and go, like I said, I like doing that because um, not only get rid of all this um, ends that kind of look weird and it's starting to get frizzy if you have any other suggestions that you like to do please let me know in the comments down below i know i look crazy kind of look looking down to see how my hair looks but that's just how it is on, it is on the first day i'm always kind of look like do i look presentable do i look okay how do, how do they look are they looking the bomb or do i need to go back and retouch some of them and then some of them get like this that are like stuck together and i have to be very very careful when I'm separating them because if not, that curl would just stretch out and that will be the end of it. But like I was saying, using the mousse or diluted gel have helped me to keep anywhere between eight to 10 days with my wash and go, especially in this weather here in Florida that is humid, it's muggy, and just the curls, my curls don't last enough when I don't add that little extra. But this is it. Don't forget, if you like the video, give the video a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel and you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. And hope that this can help some of you with curly hair. Um, and if you try this method, please let me know in the comments down below. And with this being said, it will be on to the next one.